All right, in this quick hit, we will cover how partners can create their own quotes for pricing and bombs. My name is Dylan Conrad, and I'm a Cisco Systems Engineer. This is a lesson in a series of quick hits that are designed to give Cisco partners relevant technical information in a really quick and easy to digest format. This lesson will provide Cisco partners with the basics they need to create their own bills of materials and list price quotes for individual products or small solutions. Requesting quotes from Cisco or resale partners can take days to turn around. So in this series, you will learn to find relevant product information and create a bill of materials on your own in less than 10 minutes. For part one, we will start by learning the basics you need to know how to use Cisco Commerce Workspace. Cisco Commerce Workspace, or CCW, is a multi-purpose tool for partners and Cisco employees. But really, in this video, we want to focus on the base level of knowledge needed to just create a bill of materials with list price quotes. Because this is a public video, some information will be grayed out throughout the lesson. All right, so we've gone ahead and fired up a browser here. We're gonna to go to cisco.com slash go slash CCW. Once again, it stands for Cisco Commerce Workspace. All of these links you can find down below here in the description section. We're going to go ahead and log in here with our Cisco username and password. Uh, this is your CCO account or your Cisco.com account, and it should be associated with your partner. Now, if you go to log in and you hit an error at this stage, you're going to want to go down to link to, once again, down below in the description section, and that will explain how to tie your Cisco.com user account with the company you're associated with. So we're going to go ahead and log in here. All right, so we're, here we see our CCW dashboard. A uh, lot of things we can do here, but today, like I said, we're only going to focus on configurations and quotes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Configuration. Once this pulls up the next page here, you'll see that we have a configuration set name that really doesn't make any sense. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. Let's change this to something that makes sense to me that I can come back to. And make sure to hit Update afterwards. That'll go ahead and save that name. Uh, lots of different things to do here, but to start off here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Find Products. We have two ways to find products. One is based on the product description or SKU, and one is based on product family. For a SKU, we could type in something as simple as 6500, but as you can see, this is going to return a whole lot of different results here for the 6500, not just the chassis, but uh, all the cards that go in at the power supplies, those types of things as well. Under product family, you'll see that we have a whole lot of products here to choose from. I'm going to pick one of our more popular access switches, which is the 3750X, and hit search. And once again, you can see we have a fair amount of models here. Now, if you look at the second video, you'll see exactly how to go about selecting the correct model for you. In this case, I went ahead and pulled up something, and I can see here, here's my SKU, 3750X, 24PL. That's what I want to choose. Go back to this main page here, and I have the choice now of either going back up here and going directly by the SKU, which I just pulled up in that other screen, or I can actually see it right here, 3750X, 24PL. Once I hit select, you'll see it over here in the selected item page. I'm going to head and click add, and this is basically like a shopping cart uh, if you're using an e-commerce page. One of the things I want to look at as soon as I come back to the main dashboard screen here is that this is unverified. Uh, so we're going to need to go ahead and figure out what we need to change with this to make this a valid configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and click select options. When I get to the options page, you'll see up top here, it shows me exactly what I need to add to make this a valid configuration. So at the minimum, we're going to need to go ahead and put in a power cable. And you can see right here, we've got our North American power. And I'm going to go ahead and click done. So now we have a valid configuration. And if I pop this tree out here, you can see the things that have been added in automatically for me, all $0 SKU items. And you can see that we have a valid configuration. Now that I have my product configured, ready to go, and valid, I want to make sure I add in some services as well. So to do that, I can go directly under this line item here and go under Select Services and Subscriptions. Now, if I have multiple items that I'm going to be adding to this bomb, I want to make sure they all have the same services. So rather than going into each line item separately, I can just go ahead and click up here under Services Preferences, allow Cisco to attach appropriate services, and then I can set exactly what I want. In this case, I do want SmartNet services, I want 24 by 7 support with 4 hour replacement. I don't really need an on-site field engineer as, as uh, I'm able to do that myself. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put in for updates and upgrades even though in this case for the 3750 I really don't need to worry about the software too much here so once I'm done with that I can just go ahead and close this back up I'm already saved once again now the problem here is it's not going to add it to the one I've already put in so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one manually to show you as well and once again we have all of this right here all we have to do is go ahead and click apply and that's done so it's that easy we now have a fully valid configuration as you can see here we have services attached as well for one year now we need to choose what do we want to do with this so first off we can go ahead and share it that means that we would basically send out an email to somebody inviting them to use this tool where they could make some changes to the configuration as well but the most popular item here is to export it uh, either as a PDF uh, an Acrobat document or Microsoft Excel and I always add in this header info as well and the pricing and I go ahead and click export and that'll go ahead and download directly in my browser I can go ahead and pop it up here and you can see I have an Excel document now called test one that has all of the items included in that bomb as well as the pricing for each and that concludes part one of this quick hit on creating Cisco quotes part two is really about navigating and finding relevant product information the link to that is below in the description section thanks for watching